Hi, I'm Evan Greenspan, owner of Greenspans. Uh, we've been in business since 1928. I'm third generation owner of this store in Southgate, California. Uh, we specialize in a lot of hard to find and classic styles that people travel 6,000 miles to buy. Greenspan started 1928 in uh, Watts, a couple miles away from here, uh, uh, by my uh, uh, grandparents Alex and Eva Greenspan. Uh, it was a family business; the whole family was working there, and uh, uh, and this business was uh, helping the whole family uh, make it to the United States. Uh, every family member had a different department. It was a junior department store. At one time it sold appliances and yardage, women's clothing, children's then, clothing. Uh, uh, my father, uh, when he was in junior high, opened up this location in uh, 1939. And uh, uh, Southgate was a growing city then. And uh, so when he was in junior high, he had a 62-year-old man working for him, uh, running the store. And then when he went into the service, uh, 1944, during World War II, uh, his parents closed down the Watts store and made the Southgate store the, the main store. We have a lot of history we here known for uh, uh, surfer clothes and for 50s style clothes uh, back in the 50s. And we we're always a store that treated everybody like a lady and a gentleman. Uh, my grandfather used to say, you treat everyone like a lady or a gentleman who comes in the store unless they do something inside the store that proves they don't deserve to be treated that way. And so when the bikers in the 50s would hang out at the Winchell's Donuts, they'd come here to buy their Big Bill Levi's. And we treated them with respect and we were treated back with, with respect. No, my father liked the styles of the uh, 30s, 40s, 50s, when the hippie uh, bell bottoms started coming in in the late 60s, uh, early 70s, uh, where you were supposed to wear worn out jeans with patches and, and you wore your Levi's for four years, he really didn't understand that. And he took care of a conservative clientele in this city who liked the original styles. Uh, who didn't want to change, who didn't want to deal with the newfangled bell bottoms. And also there was the uh, Latinos that liked the zoot suit look, the Ricky Ricardo looks of the 40s and early 50s. And he found he can obtain this stuff still from stores that couldn't sell it. So one by one he started buying this and selling it and he did this hundreds of times. Warehouses, factories, Spiegel catalog warehouses, uh, factories going out of business uh, that he would just buy the original stuff. Uh, hat companies, hat stores and uh, so we became an original style what they call now dead stock a clothing store at affordable See. prices and other people started uh, to do it as well but we tend to have done it better and got the reputation of being the, the best original clothing store out there. There'd be uh, debates in San Quentin of who had the best uh, clothing store, Northern California or Southern California, and because of us, we won because we had the best original things uh, still available. 